Hey everyone, I've been busy uh, pinning up uh, locks from those 25 locks that uh, West Coast Picks sent, and I figured it's time to take a break and pick a lock. So I pulled out the bag of locks that Late Night Lock Picker sent, and uh, you know what? Let's. Uh, there we go. That looks like a fun lock. Let's uh, pick a lock out of this bag that he sent. And see if we can't get into it here. Okay, as you can see it says pinned by a late night lock picker. It's a Schlage bow on the key. And it is a Schlage style lock. I've had plenty of these type, uh, type of Schlage styles lock in the past. Made several challenge locks out of them. And they make fun locks. All right, so nice and zoomed in there. Um, let's see here. This one I could probably pick from that ledge. And I think I'm going to use a homemade pick on this one. I've got a little gym style hook with a uh, cherry handle. Uh, good, my homemade tension wrench fits in there nice and snug. <clears throat> Okay, got a nice click off of one. It put me into a little false set right away. And nothing else throughout the stack. So let's come back to the front. Another click from one. Click from two. Nothing from three. Got a little kind of rotation on four. And I click from five. Let's go come back and look at one again. Okay, another little click from one, a little click from two, a little click from three. And four went way on up there. So did five. Okay, I think I had something overset, so release tension, drop some pins back down. Oop. And I released too much tension off the tension wrench. And that pick's not giving me enough feedback, so I'm going to switch up, go with this one. Okay, nice click from one, click from two, three, four, and five. So let's go back to the front. Nice click from one, click from two, a couple clicks from three, click from four, a couple clicks from five, and let's go back to the front. Nothing on one. Nothing on two, click from three, another click from three, click from four, and nothing on five. One, nice click from two, nothing on three, nothing on four, and nothing on five. All right, so let's change our direction up. There's 
nice click there. And moon back. Okay, back the other direction. Got several clicks going there. Feels like there's a lot of serrated pins in here. Okay, I got a nice false set off of four. Okay, so now I'm just feeling for my counter rotation. And I'm going to change up to a little bit different of a pick. Okay, I think my counter rotation is going to come off of pin two here. So, so let me manually release. Okay, I've still got a false set. And there we go, we're opening off a of three. Mighty fine little lock here. I mean, I'm not the best at blind picks, but I've been trying to do it more lately. All right, I've still got a bunch of junk in this pinning tray from uh, working on those locks that West Coast Picks sent. And let me grab a different screwdriver here. All righty. So I need this. I did not feel any T pins, so I'm not going to worry about shimming it. All right. And there's a lot of threading happening here. As you can see, it looks like everything is threaded. So let's go ahead and uh, unmummy his key and take a look at it. The evil, evil electrical tape mummy. Yeah, not a bad bidding. And all the pins are in and working. And we do see some nice modifications on the key pins here. All right. Okay, and yep, everything was threaded. So, let me go ahead and get this part gutted. <clears throat> and we'll take a look at uh, the pins that uh, Late Night Lock Picker stuck in here. Mm 
All right. Uh, okay. There must have been a pin and pin here. Ah, indeed there was. Pin number three was a pin and pin. So very nice. Uh, all the springs look to be about the same to me. And I don't see any telltale signs of threading in there. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on this awesome lock. All right, so I've got a very nice uh, tapered serrated pin with a serrated above it, a nice double spool with a spool. Then I've got a standard with a pin and pin. And I believe the pin and pin actually came, I have it flipped upside down right now. I think it actually came out that way. It's got some uh, serrations on the bottom. Very nice. A nice uh, double spool here. A T-pin. Then we've got a nice wide spool with a serrated pin. So, very, very cool lock. Late night lock picker. Uh, it was definitely fun to pick. And I highly appreciate it. Everyone else, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.